a Kenyan High Court has issued a suspension. Throwing a spanner in the wheels of Adani Airport Holding Limited and the Kenyan government's $1.85 billion plan, which would have granted Adani Group the right to operate Nairobi's Jomo Kenyatta International Airport for 30 years. The court's order prohibits any implementation of the deal until further rulings are made. As per a Bloomberg report, a legal challenge has been filed against the government of Kenya regarding the leasing of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi to Adani Airport. The Kenya Human Rights Commission, along with the lawyer's body, has argued that this move is unconstitutional. As per the court filings, leasing the strategic and profitable JKIA to a private entity is irrational and violates the constitutional principles of good governance, accountability, transparency and prudent and responsible use of public money. As per an Economic Times report, Faith Udiambo, the president of the Law Society of Kenya, who is one of the applicants in the case, has said that the deal is unaffordable, threatens job losses, exposes the public disproportionately to fiscal risk and offers no value for money to the taxpayer. But as expected, the Kenyan government has defended its decision in the court. The government has pointed out that the airport needs improvements to be carried out on an urgent basis, especially because its current capacity is not enough to handle the traffic. According to a Bloomberg's report, Kenya Airport's Authority's Acting Managing Director, Henry Ogaya, emphasized in July that the proposal would undergo thorough technical, financial and legal reviews to ensure compliance with public-private partnership laws. Currently, the Adani Group controls a portfolio of eight airports and holds more than 50% of the top 10 Indian domestic routes. Cumulatively, the airports controlled by the Adani Group handle 23% of Indian air traffic and cater to nearly 20% of the country's total passenger base. The group's recently launched entity, Airports Infrastructure, was going to manage and develop JKIA as part of its global expansion strategy. Adani Group intends to invest $750 million by 2029 for building a new terminal and taxiway along with $92 million worth of upgrades by 2035. This is Adani Group's first airport operation outside India. As part of its long-term plans, the company wants to list its airport business on exchanges by fiscal year 2028. The proposed deal right from its inception has been facing strong opposition from transport worker unions. In fact, the Kenyan Aviation Workers Union, which is 10,000 strong, did plan a strike around the time the deal was struck, as they are worried about potential job losses. Additionally, concerns have also been raised by India's Congress party, with Congress leader Jairam Ramesh warning of possible backlash against India due to the ongoing protest in Kenya. However, as mentioned earlier, the Kenyan government wants the deal to go through, as the upgrades the airport requires are urgent. While the US and European countries are busy in dealing with Ukraine-Russia conflict and the tensions of the Middle East, China is quietly trying to expand its sphere of influence. Recently, China held the China-Africa Summit, which saw heads of states from 53 out of 54 African nations make a beeline to meet Xi Jinping in Beijing. During the summit, China promised African countries a massive investment of $51 billion over the next three years and creation of 1 million jobs. The funding will support infrastructure projects, job creation and aid for debt-stricken African countries. India, which has had good relations with several African nations, also wants to ensure its relations are not impacted by the silent Chinese expansion in Africa. Adani Group's chairman Gautam Adani has previously commented on China's global strategy. He said, quote, I anticipate that China, which was seen as the foremost champion of globalization, will feel increasingly isolated, suggesting China's Belt and Road Initiative is losing momentum. Despite being the largest port operator in India, Adani Group is strategically expanding to challenge China's dominance in global trade infrastructure along with other groups like Hyderabad-based GMR.